Let's look at my February income report and the marketing I did this month. Hello writers in training, I'm Shannon, writing under the pen name SD Houston and author of Blood of the Lily and Soul of a Rose. And welcome to my channel where I show writers like you how to develop your writing skills and self-publish your work. First, I wanna let you know that I did a one day quiet promotion of my books in February. What I mean by this is that I set up a promotion on Blood of the Lily through a book promotion website, Reign of Reads. On February 21st, I made Blood of the Lily free and I dropped Soul of a Rose down to 99 cents. I didn't tell anyone about my book's promotions except for my newsletter. So now let's look at the numbers, my book sales, and the money I earned for this month. I'll be using my KDP dashboard and the new KDP reports to gather data on my ebook and paperback sales and earnings as well as the total number of KEMP, Kindle Pages Read, and the estimated royalties. In eBooks, I had 55 downloads of Blood of the Lily, and all of these occurred during my promotion, so I didn't make any money. However, I did have three sales of Soul of a Rose, with two of those during my 99 cent promotion sale. In total, I made $4.13 in eBook sales. In paperbacks, I only had one sale for Soul of a Rose, which I earned $4.13. What's the probability of earning the same exact amount for the eBooks and paperback sales on the same book. I'll take it though. For Blood of the Lily, I had 195 KENP, which matches the KDP reports for earnings of 88 cents. While Soul of a Rose had 562 KENP, which matches the KDP reports for earnings of $2.53. All earnings together come to $11.67 for the month of February. Let's add all these numbers to previous figures. But first, I need to point out that I've been lying to myself. Look at last month's figures for Blood of the Lily and do the math. There is no way that $178.08 minus $732.10 and minus $681.43 equals $1,073.29. Nope, I just can't do math. When I taught college English, my students used to make fun of my wrong math and I would just tell them that's why I'm not a math teacher. Same goes here. I know I had other things going on at this time too, like my dad's surgery, so that probably distracted me. The real deficit total here should have been $1,235.45. For Blood of the Lily, the total number of books sold hasn't changed as I don't count the downloads as part of my sales. So that is still at 94 total books. My total new KNP is 2,156 for a total earnings of $178.96. Next are my marketing costs. You know that I had the one day promotion with Reign of Reads, which cost me $9.60. I found this promotion company when Dale L. Roberts from Self Publishing with Dale here on YouTube YouTube told me about the Mega Fantasy Giveaway, which has many sponsors to include Reign of Reads. By the way, if you haven't entered the giveaway, please check it out. Everyone who enters will automatically receive all 66 books free, and one lucky winner will also get over $1,300 worth of Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Percy Jackson, and Shadow Hunters prizes. The giveaway ends April 16th. The next paid promotion was with Dean Wilson and his site at SFF Book Bonanza. I paid $5 to be part of a Kindle Unlimited promo for the entire month of February. Also, I spent $3.47 on Amazon ads. Last, I had my monthly payment due to Story Origin in the amount of $10. My total marketing costs for February come to $28.07. Added to the previous marketing costs, it gives me a new total of $709.50. My new and current deficit for Blood of the Lily is $1,262.64. Okay, let's look at my second book new numbers. But again, I have to tell you about my Pinocchio nose as my figures from last month just didn't add up again. Here are the numbers. If you subtract everything from the royalties earned, the correct total is $1,287.30. Silver Rose now has a total of 85 book sales and 1,663 KNP for total earnings of $42.23. My marketing and production costs remain the same. So my new deficit for Soul of a Rose is $1,276.51. Now let's look at the total for both books. Somehow I didn't forget how to subtract when I did these total figures from last month. So I don't have to change anything. I can add the new total of books sold, bringing that to a total of 180 books with 3,819 KEMP for a total earnings of $249.26. If I deduct that from my total production costs of $2,047.84 and total marketing costs of $709.50, 
I have a grand deficit of $2,508.08. I have increased my overall deficit by $13.40. Editing Shannon here. So my combined marketing cost of $709.50 actually forgot to include the $3 from marketing on Soul of a Rose. So my actual combined marketing total is $712.50 for a grand deficit of $2,511.08 cents with an overall deficit of $16.40. However, I'm trying to keep my books relevant while I finish up the conclusion to this series and my trilogy, which means that I'm still going to continue doing promotions. It is my hope that once the trilogy is done with the last book, Tears of the Marigold, coming out in June, that when I run these promotions, I'll have more read-through rates to the end of the series and finally start seeing a reversal on my deficit. Don't forget that you don't have to spend a bunch of money on your promotions, as there are quite a few good and free promotion tactics you can take advantage of. I talk about the ones I use for my second book launch in this video here where I got thousands of downloads of my book. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today and happy writing.